Hi guys, I'm Sinclair and welcome to the channel. So I recently decided to upgrade my old Wi-Fi card, the UBIT1167, which could support the 5G band at around 800 megabits per second and had integrated Bluetooth 4.2. Uh, my new Wi-Fi card is made by the same company, it's called the UBIT Gigabit and it can support the 5G band at 2400 megabits per second. It contains the very recent Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200 chip and comes with Bluetooth 5. So in this video I'll be showcasing the card and since I had to open my PC I'll also do a Wi-Fi speed comparison between the two cards but I'm not expecting a massive difference since both cards can easily handle my ISP limit of about 70 megabits per second and my router isn't Wi-Fi 6 either. Um, for an installation guide check out my old Wi-Fi card video in the link below. That said, let's get into it. So inside of the box you get the physical Wi-Fi card, screws for the fixed bracket, two 6 dvi antennas giving a wider coverage, a low profile bracket for smaller PC cases, a Bluetooth cable that connects the card to the motherboard, a CD that contains the drivers, a screwdriver and a user manual. So guys I had a few problems with the drivers on this one. Um, they didn't automatically download and the drivers in the CD just wouldn't work either. So I'll show you how I downloaded them from Intel's website after the speed test. Yeah, so like I said guys, I wasn't expecting a massive difference, but turns out the gigabit gave me a few more megabits of upload and download, which is good to know. But I mainly just got it for future proofing and the Bluetooth 5, so let's talk about that real quick. So with the Bluetooth 4.2, I could get to about the bottom of the stairs without the music on my headset starting to cut out a bit. But with the 5.0, I can pretty much go to most places in my house and the connection's fine. The higher transfer speed and the range of the Bluetooth 5 just makes things easier, I guess. Right guys, to install the drivers, if you give the numbers on the bottom left of the Wi-Fi card a Google search, so it was Intel, Wi-Fi 6, and the number was AX200, right? Give that a search. And this is the one, Wi-Fi 6 AX200 downloads Intel. And you want the two on the bottom, not the IT admin ones. Um, so you've got one for the Bluetooth here, and you've got one for the actual wireless capability. So if you click into them, then you have two further download options. It's just it's basically just 64-bit and 32-bit. Um, and depending on your operating software, just download the one that's appropriate. And after that, just drag it to your desktop and run the file. So this is what the files look like, guys. And if you just double click them, you should have a working Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth 5. I'll leave a link to the Intel web page in the description. And that's all for today. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Sub if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.